I'm studying for my ham radio test, the technician license, and I've got the ARRL handbook or study guide. And when I first got this, I thought, oh my goodness, this is big. It's really thick. How am I going to get through this quickly? And then I realized about one third of it is the practice exams and questions at the back. So I started looking into it and it's actually very easy to read. It's laid out really well. It's good because in the front here, it talks about how to use this exam guide. One thing I do like is down here at the bottom, right before chapter one, it talks about online practice tests. So when you get Get through this and you've studied it and you've looked at the practice questions then you can come here and you can go to the arrl.org forward slash exam review and you can take practice tests there so you know when you go into the real exam you're going to be ready to take that test so I just wanted to give you a real quick rundown of my initial impressions as I've opened this up and started reading it. I'm on chapter one. I think I'll be able to get through the whole thing within a week and then I'll be ready for the exam. But again, I want to remind you that I am not a ham radio expert. I am learning. I'm taking my first ham radio exam. I don't even have a call sign yet, but that's okay. I'm learning. So join me and learn with me as I take this exam and show you what this one's like. Plus when I get into the general exam and then later the amateur exam. We all really need to be prepared this time in our country for some real emergencies. And I sure hope I'm wrong, but whether it's civil war or a war from a foreign country, we have to be ready to communicate. I always like to be ready to communicate when I go hiking and backpacking and camping. I also wanna be able to communicate in a grid down situation. Thanks for joining me here at Outdoor Emergency Tech and I'll see you back in Colorado in the next video.